Goodness. He gave y'all some information? Goodness. I don't know what happened now. What did they say? No. Somebody said, what did they say? Let me tell y'all about. Oh, see? Got the money. Well, I done heard something of him. Did y'all hear about America? Huh? Goodness. There y'all go. Y'all all right? Amen. What happened? He stood up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Wow, that's all right right now. Ain't that right? Let me talk about that. Let's see. Um, Cuff Beth. This is, wow. Cuff. I had to return some calls, too, so in between, I was talking to somebody who wanted to explain to me about the, about the name Yahweh. Now, was somebody going to tell me something? Three. And one, Cuff, Beth, three and one. I ain't going to be before y'all long now. Talk with y'all a little bit and get y'all away. But I tell you something, what is true, um, everybody considering your walk. As we get later, as time continues to go on, it's going to be a trying time. And make no mistake, you know, I did hear him talk about receiving the mark. That's why we have to make sure we regulate our hearts and our minds. Ain't that right? Because a lot of times the people that are going to come and beguile us into a lot of these things are going to be people that's going to be familiar with the word. They'll know just enough word to get you off. You can't follow everybody. You can't eat from everybody. Y'all got me? These yep. people will mess you up. You'll hear people that'll come and they always try to find stuff to get out of stuff. I ain't trying to get out of nothing. I'm trying to get into something. Right. Y'all got me? Yep. So when you start hearing things, you want to make sure that, you, that, you, um, that you're mindful of what you're being taught. I made some statements I know the other day. Um, concerning um, Cuff um, and him and with his weapon and even with Moshe who we told you who Yahusha um, came along and said these people wrote concerning him and people are always try to go and find reasoning and logic to try to get out of something again versus get into something. Our book is very clear. It's precise. It's just the fact that people have come along and they've managed to play with things and change things. Isn't that right? Then you all told us they would do. They're going to think to change laws, statutes, times, and seasons. And that's what these people did to us, and they used it to make, a pray, make us a prey. Isn't that right? They made us a P-R-E-Y and got us the P-R-A-Y. That's how they made us a P-R-E-Y. Isn't that right? Taught us every time, just pray. How people prayed, and they got up, and they did something. Y'all got me? Now look at something since I call y'all over there. Give me, um, let's go ahead and get three and one. Other brother, you'll jump over. Get me um, first, first Timothy, well, Olive. Timothy, Olive, three and one. Let's see, Cuff, Beth, three and one. Timothy, Olive. Three and one. Listen. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. You can't remember something you don't know. What happened? That you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the Kudash prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Allahim and Savior. Y'all hear that? He said, Won't you be mindful of who? Which was spoken before by who? The Kudash prophets. And of whose son? And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Allahim and Savior. Okay. Cuff, Olive, five and one. You see, won't be mindful of what was spoken before. He said, by us. Listen. The elders among. The elders which are among you. The who sign? The elders which are among you. What he told you? I exhort. What you do, I E-X-H-O-R-T? Amen. I warn. Who? I'm also an elder. Who was he warning? Come on, so I'm talking to you. The elders. Which are among you. I. Exhort. Who am also? An elder. And who was he warning? And a witness of the sufferers of the Mashiach. Who was he warning, Andre? 
The elders which are among you. What was he doing? I exhort. Who? The elders which are among you. <laughs> I exhort. Who am also an elder. Who am also an elder and? A witness of the sufferings of the Mashiach. And? Also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. What did he tell him to do, son? Feed the flock of Allahim, which is among you. Taking. The oversight thereof. Anybody give me nothing, I take it. He told him to take it. What did he tell him to do, son? Not by constraint. Nobody ain't got to make me take it either. But what? Willingly. Not for what? Filthy lucre. But? Of a ready mind. Neither is being? Allahim over Yahuwah's heritage. But being what? Examples to the flock. What happened, son? And when the chief shepherd shall appear. What happened? You shall receive a crown of glory. That doth what? Faded not away. That's beautiful. Give me titles. Titus 1 and 5. Well, we go to uh, Timothy, all of 3 and 1. Listen. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, ordained, elders in every city, as I had appointed thee. If any, be blameless the husband of one wife. What happened, son? Having faithful children. Not what? Accused of riot or oh, unruly. Listen. For a bishop must be blameless. Hold on for a minute. Talk to me. He told them, um, he left thee in Crete that thou shouldest set in order things that are wanting. An ordained what? Elders in every city. As I had. Appointed thee. If any be what? Blameless. What else, son? The husband of one wife. Talk to me. Having faithful children. Not accused of what? Riot or unruly. What did he tell you after that? For a bishop must be blameless as a steward of Allahim. At type 1 Timothy 3 and 1. Listen. This is a true saying. If it's true, that means it's not a lie. It's not false. What happened? If a man desire the office of a bishop, tell him what he desires, son. He desires a good work. Tell him about a bishop. A bishop then must be blameless. He must be what? Blameless. But what he got to be? Blameless. Blameless. The husband of one wife. What happened, son? Vigilant, sober, of good behavior. Listen, give, what else happened? What given happened? to hospitality. Given to what? Hospitality. Tell him what else, son. Apt to teach. Apt to teach. Not given to wine. What else, son? No striker. Uh uh. No what? No striker. Titles again. Titles one and five. I gotta go with the book. So you be mindful of the thing was spoken to you before. Listen. For this cause left I thee in Crete. That thou should have set in order. The things that are wanting. Ordained. Elders. In every what? City. As I had did what? Appointed thee. If they said if I told you to go and appoint, if I appointed them, that made you one. You can't go and appoint nothing, you're not. Talk to me, son. If any be blameless the husband, of one wife, talk to me. having faithful children, not accused what? of riot or, or unruly, listen. for a bishop must be blameless. It went right in the time out of bishop. We're talking about an elder. Who knows what he's talking about? Pick me up at the book of your Ukanon. <clears throat> Will you give me that? I'm the other brother, get me cough since we him. That's amazing. He broke out talking about. Way of remembering. Mm. Olive, cuff, olive. Cuff, olive. Two and twenty. Your uka nine. Eighteen and eleven. Matter of fact, hold that 1811. Make it your Uka 9, chapter 2 and 12. Your Uka 9, 2 and 12. Other brother got me cough, olive, chapter 2 and 20. Listen. The other one hold me your, your Uka 9, chapter 18 and verse 12. So y'all got that? Yeah. Listen. After this, he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and mm. they continued there 
not many days. What happened? And the Yahoo deems Passover was at hand, and Yahusha went up to Jerusalem. And he went up to Jerusalem. What happened? And found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves mm -hmm. and the changes of money sitting. What happened? And when he had made a scourge of small cords. What he did what now? Had made a scourge of small cords. What happened? He drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables mm -hmm. and said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. Mm. Cuff Olive, chapter 2, verse 20. Listen. For what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently. Yes. But if when you do well and suffer for it, yes. you take it patiently, this is acceptable with Allahim. Come on. For even hereunto were ye called. Yes. Because the Mashiach also suffered for us. Leaving us what? An example. Talk to me. That ye should follow his steps. Who did what? No sin. Neither. Was guile found in his mouth. What happened? Who, when he was reviled, Dear what? reviled not again. Yes. When he suffered, Dear what? he threatened not. Come on. But committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. Come on. Who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree. What happened? That we, being dead to sins, mm -hmm. should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Listen. For ye were as sheep going astray. You were what? As sheep going astray. What were they asked, Brandon? As sheep going astray. Tell them what they came back to. But are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Who you return back to? But are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. First Timothy chapter three. Listen. Continue at verse 3 again. Verse 3 and verse 1 be fine. Amen. I didn't find if it's a lie first. What did it say? This is a true saying. If a man do what? Desire the office of a, a bishop. What did he desire, son? Desire the office of a bishop. Yeah. He desireth a good work. Tell me about what he got to be. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. What else, son? Not given to wine. Yeah. No striker. What that is? That's violent. So what was he doing with that court? The Ukanon, chapter 18, verse 11. This is your Ukanon, chapter 18, verse 11. Listen. Then said Yahusha unto Cuff, put up thy sword into the sheep. Back me up, son. Make it at verse 10. Make it verse 9, 18 and 9. What happened? That the saying might be fulfilled, which he spake of, which he spake of them which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Uh-huh. Then Cuff, having a sword, drew it. Then Suff did what? Then Cuff, having a sword, he drew it. He threw it where? And smote the high Kohan's servant. And what happened? And cut off his right ear. Cuff all of five and one. Tied of one and five. Other brother, you get me um, Shumuwal Olive. Seventeen and twenty-five. Might quit. Listen. The elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the suffering of the Mashiach, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Five and one. The elders which are among you, I exhort. Who are you again? Who am also an elder. At Titus 1 and 5. Listen. 
For this cause left I thee in Crete. Other oh, brother, you gave me Romans chapter 12. Twelve and one be fine. We'll read down. Listen. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. But what do you want, son? And ordain elders in every city. And I had appointed thee. If any be blameless the husband of one wife. What happened, son? Having faithful children. Not accused. Of riot or unruly. Tell me what happened, son. For a bishop must be blameless. I'm confused. How did he go into a bishop? Same position. Shumuel, Olive, 17, 25. Other brother got me, Romans 12 and 1. I ain't trying to justify nothing. I'm just saying, let's see what the book say. Listen. And the men of Yashorah said, have you seen this man that has come up? Yeah. Surely to defy Yashorah if yeah. he come up. What happened, son? And it shall be that the man who killeth him the Malak will enrich him with great riches yeah. and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Yasharal. What happened, son? And Daoud spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What did he say, son? What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine? What shall be done for the man that prayed for his enemy? That killeth this Philistine. What happened? And taketh away the reproach from Yasharal. What happened? For who, is, for who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living, Allahim. What happened? And the people answered him after this manner, yeah. saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. What happened? And Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men. What did he say? And Eliab's anger was kindled against Daoud. What did he tell him? And he said, Why camest thou down hither? To do what? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the what, wilderness? What happened, son? I know thy pride. Yeah. And the naughtiness of thine heart. That what happened? For thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. What did Daoud tell him? And Daoud said, What have I now done? Yeah. Is there not a cause? That's all I say. Man, she got a reason now. He said, Is there not a cause? Twelfth chapter of the book of Romans, twelve and one. Book right. Amen. Book right. Listen. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Allahim, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, kodash, acceptable unto Allahim, which is your what? Reasonable service. Listen. And be not conformed to this world, but be you what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and, and acceptable and perfect will of Allahim. What happened, son? For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, yeah. not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. What happened, son? But to think soberly. Got to be sober. Come on. As according as Allahim have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Yes. For as we have many members in one body, yeah. and all members have not the same office. Come on. So we, being many, are one body in the Mashiach, and every one members one of another. Jump down to verse 14. Listen. Bless them which persecute you. Yeah. Bless and curse not. Come on. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Yeah. And weep with them that weep. Come on. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things. And condescend. To men of low estate. Come on. Be not wise in your own conceit. Listen. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Listen. If it be possible. If it what now? If it be possible. You say it's always, it's always possible. If it be possible. What are you talking about, son? As much as lieth in you, live peaceably. Go get some from somebody else. As much as lieth in you. Do what, son? Live peaceably with all men. I ain't got no problem with the book. The book Amen. right. That's right. And much of life than you, so you live peaceful with all men. And with so much land can happen. That's right. <laughs> I mean, that song, As We Lay, they had a song, As We Lay. It's morning. We done slept the night away. 
Ain't that right? I got late now, I got to get up. That's right. <laughs> Said, much is lied than you, live peaceful with all men. Ain't that right? right? Now what we're looking at, we're going back and we're looking at it as well, willing to sacrifice. When we sit down and we follow the word, we want to make sure that we always have a good conscience toward what we do as well as a perfect heart. Y'all got me? You can do this book and follow the laws and statutes, but if your heart not right, it's just a matter of time before you're going to run into error. You got me? When I'm talking about the error, I'm talking about the error to falling, the error to none recovering. And that happens a lot of times when we put our love and our affection on a lot of these other things. Give me uh, the book of Colossians right quick, Colossians 3 and 1. And before, hold that, matter of fact, Colossians 3 and 1. Other brother, Colossians 3 and 1. I want you to get me, um, Dabari Hayamam. Hayamam. Beth, 25 and 1. Thank you, guys. Ugly hand, Ryan. Woo. Well, if you can preach the word, I'll take that. Well, that's an ugly Ryan. I couldn't have left that up there like that. Y'all done let me get away with that one right now. That two like something stuck up in it, don't it? <laughs> that's a stuck up two. I wouldn't have got away with that, wouldn't I? No, I wouldn't have got away with that. Y'all don't let me get away with nothing like that. Ain't that right? That penmanship. I ain't got the best, but you don't want to just be sloppy. Y'all got me? It's your work right here. It's your craft. You know what I'm saying? You got some mechanic that can fix your car, but they'll put all on your seat, all on your dashboard. And I don't care how good you are, I'd rather you don't touch my car. Like you, I don't care how good it's running. The fact that you would sit in my car and put all in my seat, and my steering wheel will be greased up <laughs> in my door, and I see it on my paint, I would, I would rather find somebody else than you would, because that's your craft. So do, you know, you go to a professional place, you know the first thing they do, they're, they're going to put some plastic over the seat, they're going to put a floor mat on the floor, they're going to put the paper on the floor and drive off. You don't know care of been taken off. Some of the places when they get finished, they're going to wash it. And they might not even, I'm all the time, they're going to shoot it back out there, you're going to say, you know what, serve it with a smile. Ain't that right? Some of them, even Walmart, how they beat it out, they'll vacuum it out. Ain't that right? Trying to give it to you back to you better than what it was when you gave it to them. Fix, repair, and I cleaned it up for you. But the fact you'll fix it and grease it up too, just none care. Ain't that right? I want better penmanship than this right here. Let's say I don't care. I would take this one. I ain't even try to flip it to a two. I just stuck it up in there like a dagger in there too. That don't mean nothing to y'all to do it. Do to me. This is work. This ain't my word, this is your word. I'll erase it sometime I do something. I said, let me erase that. I don't know why they, I don't like the way that look. I want y'all all to care about what you do. Ain't that right? Care about your soul salvation, care about what you do. You can't give him anything. He don't receive anything. When he told you to present your bodies, what did he tell you? What did he tell you? Kadash. You said at least I'm living, I'm breathing. No, it's gotta be Kadash. Then it's gotta be acceptable. See, everything he won't do it. So you got to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will. So everything you do has got to be blamed. You can't give him what you want. That's our problem. That's why a lot of you haven't attained the spirit. Because you continue to think you can do something and it's going to still equate to something good when it's not. Isn't that right? Yep. It comes to naught. All your work and all your servitude comes to naught. Simply because you don't real, put a real effort to find out what does he require. Who told us about that? Mick, y'all. He told us what does Yahuwah require you? And, I, and will he be, will he be pleased with? Will he be pleased with? He let you know, when I want to know what does he require, will that please him? Y'all don't think about it. Y'all just do something. Job, at least I got a job. Is it acceptable? Huh? Is it going to be satisfying? In order to be pleased, it's got to be satisfying. I cooked you something, but it's not pleased. It doesn't satisfy me. It doesn't please me. So you've cooked something. You might have slaved. You might have sweated when you might have gone somewhere to pick up the materials to make it, but ain't satisfied with it. So all your work done been in vain. Now you angry, you upset because you're saying, I gave you what you asked for, but it's not acceptable. It's got to have an appeal to it. Huh? It's got to be something I want. Well, that's the same thing that Yahuwah tell us. What does he require? 
what will please him. The book said that when a man way please your whore, he able to make his enemy be at peace with you. That's why a lot of y'all don't get no peace with these people. Your ways don't please them. It's stink, it's nasty, and it's contrary. It don't, he ain't satisfied with it. So I make everything come up, and I make it unsatisfactory with you. Because you don't please me. All right, let's think about it. Let's see what he told you. This is um, um, Dabo Rehai Yamam, Beth, 25 and 1. Listen. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign. Tell him what happened, son. And he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem. What was his mother's name? Come Jehoiada on. Jehoiada of Come Jerusalem. Uh-huh. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah. What you going to do with that if you do something that's right? What you going to say about it? It's right. You go ahead and grade it. It's right. Well, what happened, son? But not with a perfect heart. Books say heart went blameless. Huh? You could turn in some work, it can be right. I know some teachers, they'll give you a grade, they'll take it, they'll reduce the grade simply because of penmanship. You're saying, but it's right, but your penmanship look bad. Ain't that right? You've done it right. You could tell you really don't care about what you do. You just look the race to get through something, your penmanship look bad. Ain't that right? You just ran through something. I don't want that. I don't like that. I give him a I give him an F minus for writing. The mess, I don't know, he need an F minus minus. Cause it's just this sloppy. Some of the, that just this two right here by itself to get him an F. Because I wouldn't have left that up there like that. Let me check my stuff. I wouldn't have left mine up there. Y'all ever see me racing sometimes? I just don't want no sloppy jump. I might not have no lines, but I try to at least get some type of uniform with it. Isn't that right? Because I look at this represents what's in my mind. And coming from my heart, I'm teaching people. This represents I am a sloppy iteration nigga. Look at this here. That eight look like it's been pushed over. This is sloppy. I want y'all to care about this. You know what this says? This should have insulted you guys. Because this says you will accept this. If I thought you guys would accept it, I wouldn't be up here erasing stuff. Y'all don't realize some stuff is so. I come, I'm bringing your food, and I do this number here. Here you go. What did this say? What did this tell him? The fact I would do it right here in his face. He'll take it. He don't like it, then don't eat. Let me get some hands out of town. I don't try to say I'm turning white. This booty clean, though. <laughs> no, you ain't going to get to smell it. You don't smell it now. That's how you know it's clean. If it stinks, when I scratched it, it'll start smelling. Thank you. Well, y'all ran on here mighty fast. I seen folks digging in nose like y'all let it meditate. I got some. Give some up too. <laughs> now I'm a done hand gonna turn white like Michael Jackson. All this stuff up in him. Now y'all see what he did? He did that what was right in the sight of Yahuwah, but his heart wasn't blameless. So that's the first thing that why Yahusha came and told you what you had to do. He told you, bless what the pure in heart. But they shall see. You're talking to people that know the law. So you can know the law, but you gotta make sure your heart right when you're doing things. Otherwise, all your work gonna be in vain. Come on, son. Let's see what he did. And he, did, and he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah. So but, that's all we know is what he's saying. What do you have from right here, from what he told you other than what he just stated to let you know he did what was right? Huh? Nothing so far. Let's see what he did. But not with a perfect heart. See, he told you, but his heart wasn't perfect. Tell me what happened. Now it came to pass. That what happened? When the kingdom was established to him. See, then when the kingdom was established to him, what did happen? That he slew his servants that had killed the Malak, his father. You hear that? He slew the servant that killed the Malak, his father. What happened, son? But he slew not their children. He slew not who? Their children. For what reason? But did as it is written in the law of the so, book of Moses. You know why? The only reason why they were written in. So it was for your learning. How do you know he did what was right if his heart wasn't right? He told you right there. Here was the law. The men that killed his father, he slayed them. But he didn't slay their children. He's giving you proof to show you that the man did what was right. Listen. Where Yahuwah commanded, saying. What did he tell him? The father shall not die for the See, children. Come back now, let you know what the law say. That's why we look at Dabari Hayyamim, because this is the matter of the days. You're going back to look at the days and how they operated. And you're looking at exactly what he did. So now when you start doing things, you start examining your heart as well as, the, as well as your actions. You got me? Are you doing what's right and is your heart right? 
You got me? Because here's a man that's doing what's right, yet his heart wasn't right. You're hearing what he did was according to what Yahuwah commanded. So now, what is the problem? Listen. Neither shall the children die for the father. See, that's your law. He came along and told you, going to stop this stuff. Listen. But every man shall die for his own sin. Listen. Moreover, Amaziah gathered Yehudah together and made them captains over thousands and captains over hundreds. See, that's how you know when they came along and they slew Yahushua, they did wrong. Because he ain't let you know a man here who hard one ain't right had enough sin to realize it don't make sense to kill their children. Kill the people that slayed my father. You know what's bad about that? You kind of call them what they call son of man. Meaning you should have killed his father. And you should have kept your hands off of him. Here's a man that obeyed the law. But he let you know this man heart wasn't even right. He had enough sense to obey the law. What's wrong with you? We got two violations. My people done committed two violations. Listen. According to the houses of their fathers. Listen. Throughout all Yehuda and Benjamin. And he numbered them from 20 years old and above. All that law. You want to take them to go out to war, you number from 20 years and up. I think in the 20th chapter of the book of Dabarim, tells you the same thing. It'll tell you you're going to take them out to war. You got a number from 20 years old. He could have numbered 19 and a half. Then you know what happened. You'll say, he wasn't doing right in the first place, but you'll be lying. The book told you he did what was right. Heart. So you see, when you read, you got to read with some understanding, comprehension. He's telling you that for a reason. The man was doing what was right. Listen. And found them 300,000 choice men. What happened, son? Able to go forth to war that could handle spear and shield. Listen. He hired also 100,000 mighty men of valor out of Yasharal for 100 talents of silver. What happened, son? But there came a man of Allahim to him, saying, What did he tell him? O Malak, yeah. let not the army of Yasharal go with thee. You hear this? Don't let the army of Yasharal go with you. Tell him why, son. For Yahuwah is not with Yasharal. See that? Because Yahuwah not with them. What happened? To wit. With all the children of Ephraim. See, he not with them the way he is with all the children. He not with the children of Yash uh, Ephraim as he is with the children of Yahudu, of Yahuda. Listen. But if thou will go. If thou will go. Do it. And what happened, son? Be strong for the battle. You know, they at me sometimes. They said, Pastor, what you think about said to say? And they keep coming on. I said, go ahead and do it. They asked me that. Pat, let me ask you said to say. And I answered. They said, go ahead. I said, well, go ahead. It'll probably work. What are you going to tell them? I done told you, though, he ain't with him, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to ask him, you're going to keep going? He told him, go ahead and do it. He said, you go ahead, listen to what he told him to do. Be strong for the battle. And make sure you be strong for the battle. Tell him what happened, son. Allahim shall make thee fall before <laughs> the enemy. What happened, son? For Allahim has power to help. And? To cast down. Listen. And Amaziah said to the man of Allahim. What did he tell him? But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Yasharal? Is that why the book told you where a man hard at? That's how you know now his heart wasn't right. He started worrying. I'm talking about you falling. I'm talking about the people you got with you, he not with them, and they're going to cause you to fall. And the first thing you want to know about your money. That's how I know his heart wasn't right. You see why you read and you got to get comprehension? For the law, the law was right. He followed that. But see, now when you get challenged on a situation, now you get tested on where your heart at. Mm. Y'all should remember this. Yahushua ran across a young man who told you, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said, how read the law? He said, all oh, this I kept from my youth up. And was I did. What was the problem? The money. The man went away how? Sorrowful. Heartbroken because he had much possession. I just paid for 100,000 people. You think I'm going to lose that money? 100,000 people. And these niggas don't fight. They finna fight. That's 100,000 people. This is where you get challenged. A lot of y'all in here, all of us, that's where you get challenged at. What happened, son? And the man of Allahim answered, Yahuwah is able to give thee much more than this. Listen. And Amaziah separated them to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim, to go home again. Wherefore, their anger was greatly kindled against Yahuda. See that? He repented, though. What you going to do? What you going to do? A lot of y'all will keep on with the same heart, the same mind. I tell you, don't do something. Y'all will keep at it. Keep. Y'all think I don't know y'all in here what y'all be doing. I just let y'all keep going. You know where y'all danger detriment be at? Because y'all try to see how you can work around what I said. 
what I told you hadn't changed, but you're going to do it anyway, and you're a detriment. Just like he told them with Yashra, if you take these people, like I tell y'all, with dating and messing around, other stuff y'all do, they're going to make you fall. Be strong when y'all do it, because they're going to cause you to fall. Huh? He going to make you fall. The man all he done told you, don't do what you think going to happen. It's only for a reason you were told, but if you're going to go ahead and do it, be strong, because you're going to wind up falling. Pay me a son in Colossians 3, and once I can get y'all through, I need to talk to y'all briefly. Listen, Colossians 3 and 1. Listen. If ye then be risen with the Mashiach, see those things which are above. What a Mashiach? Sitteth on the right hand of Allahim. Set. Your affection on things above. And not. On things on the Aritz. For ye are who? Dead. And your life. Is hid with the Mashiach in Allahim. That's what we got to get to. When. Mashiach. Who is our what? Our life shall appear. Then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Listen. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the Aritz. You got to kill it out. A lot of stuff y'all got to kill out. Listen what he told you. Fornication. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's all them hand gestures to in your pants. All these says got to get rid of it. He tell you what you need to kill. Listen. Uncleanness. See that? Stuff that's unclean. Got to get away from it. What else? Inordinate affection. Uh-oh. Unusual affection. A man design another man. A woman design another, that's unusual. Ain't that right? That's not, that's, that's suspect. Can I get rid of an order of affection? Listen. Evil concupiscence. Listen. And covetousness. Uh-huh. Which is idolatry. Uh-huh. For which things sake the wrath of Allahim. Coming. On the children of disobedience. So you ain't going to obey what's going to happen to you. He going to pour his wrath out on you. That's why we're setting the problem a lot of y'all in today, because you've been disobedient. And some of y'all still struggling with your old pathways. Some stay out of watch, some stuff in order. You can't sit around the floor. There's some stuff you can't do. I don't play with none of these brothers. Every time I touch them on their butt, I ain't gonna never tell no brother to me if you look scrumptious. I don't play like that. That's right. That's I ain't right. play like that in the street. I tell right. one of y'all play me like, I'm gonna bust you across the head with that pistol. That's right. If I'm lying, I'm flying, I ain't sprouting scr- no wing. I don't That's play right. like that. Yeah. I like cheese, I'm no rat. I play many games, but not like that. Right. Isn't that right? Yes, y'all know Ben doing no stuff like that. You better get that in order to figure out your heart. I get out for you. Same thing with them sisters. Ooh, your breasts look good. I take a pill, slap across her head. She buy it. <laughs> Ain't that right? right. Y'all know been talking like that. Y'all know been that stuff. Yeah. Ain't that fool you talking? I tell no another brother, he look fine. Look scrumptious. Stop that foolishness. Same thing with no right. woman. Y'all know been no woman telling another woman no inappropriate stuff. Shut your mouth. Right. Ain't that right? Yep. Got no been that stuff in your heart. You got to modify it. If you won't kill it, I'll kill it. That's right. mm. Ain't that right? That's yep. right. That was ready to die. He told me, let it die. You ready to die, huh? He told me, let it die. (laughs) Ain't that right? He ain't going to be healed. He told me to turn it out of the way. Y'all hear me? Ain't no being right here. Man, that's a crucial walk for us. Y'all hear me? Got to make sure we mind when we take that walk. I know y'all hear stuff. Y'all looking, this my avenue to go out here and do something to somebody. You better know what you're doing. Get yourself hurt out here. Rub on the wrong person. Your stuff ain't together. You're going to pay for it. That you get back up here, you make sure you write better. That's some sloppy writing. Men write sloppy. Sideways, head leaning. You straighten that junk up. I'm going to leave that F minus minus up there, though. Make him do better. Ain't that right? I want these guys shaped up right. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Malcolm? Malcolm, you write like that, too, don't you? Just sloppy. You know, came folks' shirt been twisted like he was drunk one time. I said, what in the world wrong with these folks? Ain't that right? Paying, you remember the time paying one match your jacket? I thought they were matching. Man, I thought they going to win the trash. Y'all hear me? Y'all think I'm crucial on it, kind of hard on y'all. Good. Good. I want you at your best. Whenever you're up and you perform. Any of my brother, y'all ain't on these jobs where you performing. I want you at your best. You got me? Because these people always want the worst from you. They want you to fall right in that category where you be a failure. Ain't that right? So y'all want you to shape your beard, I won't comb your hair. Look at man, what the point? Why are you gonna walk around your head ain't combed? Isn't that right? You got you can shape it up and look decent. You know you out here need people, y'all how these people work, how they operate. You gotta still keep a professionalism because you're trying to move up so you can take over on these people. That's right. You gotta be smart in these people. You know, I told before, these folks right here, they wise in the children of life, in their generation. That means I got to become smart in these people. We talk, I got to be wise as a serpent, humble as a dove. I got to watch these people. 
These people are looking for a reason not to give me something. They're looking for a reason to turn me down. Y'all hear me? Amen. So they can say it ain't your skin. It's because of this or because of that. You got to come along. You got to already know how to overcome that. Yeah. Goodness, I don't know why to get on this stuff. Y'all appreciate me one day. All right, that's good enough, brother. Thank you most, honey.